So do you think um, some of the things that have prevented people from using Wasabi in the past are going to kind of be resolved in 2.0 and this is kind of um, going to bring Wasabi Wallet to more and more and more users? I, I guess it, it sounds like you've kind of uh, realized what you think has been a, a drawback or a barrier to like a lot of users. Um, I guess is 2.0 going to be more beginner friendly as well? Um, oh, that's, that's 100% true if you... Just think about the current Wasabi, you have to have 0.1 Bitcoin to even do the coin join. That's a security parameter, but you have to have that much for Wasabi 2.0. You, you don't need any, 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 any minimum amount. So that will enable a lot more people to, to gain privacy Bitcoin, surely. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. Well, that, that makes uh, that's quite interesting to yeah. I didn't realize about the minimum amount change coming in two point So that's cool. Um, I've like experimented with Wasabi Wallet in in the past, uh, but not uh, in the last couple of months. Um, when it comes to uh, Wasabi Wallet, and, and I suppose a lot of the work you've done in the Bitcoin world, uh, a lot of it is privacy focused. Um, would you say that's kind of something that you? personally care about a lot is that like a you know something that in in your personal life you know you're, you're very much someone who's pro privacy or, or, or do you or is it more something that just you found yourself finding something that you thought was cool people wanted it hey i'm just gonna develop it and then it kind of just kind of makes sense as like a usp as like a unique selling point for uh, wasabi wallet so you're just continuing with the privacy focus is it more something that's personal to you or is it more of a hey this makes sense for our wallet to stand apart and be the best at this many people start working on privacy because because of some personal experience or or or, or but but i did not have anything right like i i came into the space as a blank blank sheet i didn't know anything about privacy and and so i had to go into and and look at look at all the things that's what 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 is even privacy and and you know it's it's so much deeper than i thought like this is such a huge rabbit hole that if you if you if you really go far enough then you're going to even realize that your personal development is based on your privacy, your ability to selectively reveal yourself to the world, which is the definition of privacy. And every child starts out with zero privacy, and then they have to figure out where their boundaries are, both, both their physical boundaries and their mental boundaries. And that's basically self-development. They figure out where which are the boundaries of their self and that's maturation so so privacy goes really really deep in in the psychological level and and also on the economic and and, and other 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 areas and, and yeah I, I did not have any any biases or preconceived notions when I came into to working on, on Bitcoin privacy, I, I had to start everything from zero. Just you sort of built it from scratch. I suppose on the on the privacy side of things, yeah, as you say, privacy is like a well, it's one word for a lot, <laughs> basically. Like, you know, there's so much to privacy in general. Um, but I suppose um, when it comes to Bitcoin, um, it's obviously pseudonymous, but it hasn't really got like a lot of privacy folk like tons of privacy focused features baked into it really and its design unlike something like monero for example which its sort of core aim is to be privacy focused um so i suppose with things like this recent tap root uh, upgrade which is likely going to come soon um do you i mean what what's your thoughts on tap root like do you think that enough is being done personally by by bitcoin core and uh, to actually upgrade the, the privacy of, of Bitcoin. Taproot is, is nice, but doesn't solve that many things. It solves some very specific things. Uh, for example, it makes, it, it removes, uh, removes an attack vector from a privacy attack vector, not security. Actually, privacy is security. Anyway, it removes an attack vector on, on the Lightning Network. So. So that's nice. 
that's about taproot. Schnorr signature aggregation makes coin chains a little bit cheaper. So yeah, I guess if you want to say that I'm not very excited about the current improvements and now uh, do I want core to improve <laughs> Bitcoin's privacy more? And I'm, I'm afraid there is only one thing that I can, I can right now say that could 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 add some some really substantial improvement to Bitcoin privacy, which is about confidential transactions. Uh, confidential transactions, you know, a transaction, Bitcoin transaction comes with inputs and outputs and the outputs have a script and an amount. Every output has a script and an amount and confidential transactions basically make that amount, masks that amount that makes it unknown to those who don't participate in the transaction as it should be. And, and on that, we can build even more block space efficient coin joins, but, but that's a huge change. And, and you know, I, I was talking about Adam Gibson, talking with Adam Gibson, and, and he said that confidential transactions is a change in Bitcoin that that has a chicken and an egg problem. Like no one tries it, therefore no one is, no one is working on it. <laughs> therefore, everyone thinks it's not gonna get into Bitcoin. But uh, I suppose if someone starts to work on it, then it has a chance to get into Bitcoin and 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 change stuff from the bottom up. But I also think Wasabi can can get to that point where, where privacy is, can be used by default. And even the coin swaps, coin swaps can, can achieve privacy that probably cannot be even achieved on any other altcoin. So coin swaps is that good, but it's, it's more expensive than coin joins. So, so I'm not sure. Also, also just think about the numbers that we are talking here, the, uh, what is the, what is the anonymity set of of yours? Because that's what measures your privacy. If if you think about it, is that how many people could have done the same action that you have done previously? That's an anonymity set. And if you think about cash, we are transacting in cash. Our anonymity set is like, um, let's say Hungarians. It's ten million people. Like you really don't know. Uh, that, that's how huge the anonymity set for the for, for the US, I don't know, 500 million people. But for, and even for Xiaomi and eCash, uh, it, it could be really huge as many people are using that, that system. But for cryptocurrencies, um, like Wasabi has 50, 100, um, Samurai is five, Joint Market has uh, two to eight uh, variable and, and Monero, I think 12 is now their, their, their what is called mixing number. So, so, so we are not talking about such huge numbers and, and you know, like, Cryptocurrencies have some really huge limitations. If you if you think about it, what what do we want to to actually build? We want to build as good money as we can. So, what is the best money that we can possibly conceptualize? Um, there are many theories, but Aristotle and, and people are somewhat somewhat in agreement in that money has to fulfill some specific purposes, which is divisibility, portability, uh, fungibility, auto acceptability, uh, unit of value, and, and a couple of these. And if you think about with cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin brought in the scarcity. Now no one can print more money out of thin air, which is, <laughs> which is such an obvious thing, but like that's the huge innovation of Bitcoin. 